Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiser Redux, which we're playing as everyone's favorite Mexican state. The not a Mexican state is led by some guy here. You know, he's president for life. But support the Mexican Catholic Ap Apostolic Church? Hmm, I don't know about that. Formed in 1925, of course. The Iglesia Catolica Apostolica Mexicana, also known as ICAM, was created by a uh, <clears throat> self-proclaimed patriarch Jose Joaquin Perez Budar himself, a former Catholic priest, in the direct opposition to the Catholic Church's monopoly on the minds of the Mexican people. We're not differing that much from the Catholic Church in doctrine, save for a lack of belief in damnation and supporting merry clergy, among other th small things. They differ greatly in their attitude towards the government. While the Papists are either downright hostile or at least unsupportive of the revolutionary government, the ICAM has been nothing but friendly. While they disapprove of some of the more socialistic policies, the ICAM is perhaps our most vocal support in the religious scene of the country. While most of the support is due to the ushering a common enemy within the Catholics. There's another reason. Around the time of the Foundation, the FA supported their bids to take over smaller Catholic parishes with both men and weapons. While almost always ending in failure, the ICAM perhaps believes that by supporting us, they can repay the debts owed to Cayas. With this being the cause, and with their fight against the Roman Catholic Church stepping up every passing day, members of El Jefe's cabinet suggested that we patronize this Catholic breakoff. While doing so would technically be against the Constitution, as it forbids favoritism in the sphere of religion, it would be a great boon to us, as it would allow us to replace a foreign and dangerous Catholic Church with one that is both only national and one, that could be easily controlled with a few investments, such as the ones proposed. Regardless, if we support them or not, the ICAM should remain a cornerstone enough support an otherwise hostile world superstition. Ground some support that we useful tool against Catholics. Ah, supporting any church is a violation, of course. The Constitution. But we gotta talk about the Cristero War. A number of them, their priests, nuns, and laymen have been outraged by laws Putacaro, Cayas has placed upon them, taken up arms in Central Mexico. A number of these men have formed themselves into what they are calling the Cristero Army, fighting for their Catholic faith. Through force of arms, Putero Cayas has called for them to be destroyed as a threat to Mexico, which, let's be real, they totally are. Um, so at this point, we should defend the revolution, seems like the option we probably want to take, versus I have an actual, I have to fight an actual war. So at least Yalisco and Guerrero and have Goro Stetelta become a, a leader, but Jesus becomes a field marshal. But we should defend the revolution. Um, a crystal raid. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I didn't know anything about this. Support Nicaraguan allies? I just rather just kill them all off. I'll have to restore order here. A raid doesn't have national spirit. Uh, increase by two, strength will lower by one. We'll need enough guns before we can send them. Do we not? Oh, shnikes. Well, that should help us out a little bit, right? Right. Okay. Um, Crystal Raid. So right now, strength is 10. Catholic rebels are fighting a war against the government and are, or and are ordered to enforce their laws. They must be put down as quickly as possible in order to bring peace and prosperity in Mexico. So, we do this. If not selected, we'll lose any political power. We need to have guns to send them. Strength is 9. We'll do this. Get more stability and lower their strength, too. Actually, it's really nice for getting more stability like this. And I guess we'll keep doing that. Good support our allies. We'll probably create our own faction. We'll see how far we go. Crystal War. Ooh, that sucks. Um, we're already on early mobilization. We do want to get a partial mobilization as fast as possible. We're going to control Congress as well. I did this read this one last time, so if you're going to read this again, please go right ahead. So there's that. I do like political commissars as well, though. Army speed gain is pretty good. Now that our takeover is complete, we need to secure the loyalty of the army. Even if troops and officers are sure of the loyalty, we need a vanguard body to keep them in check in case they change their minds if and when we let our guard down. These commissars shall serve as a bridge between our, the party and army, ensuring utmost loyalty and dedication to the maximato within our ranks, on penalty of punishment or death. Pretty normal. I like political commissars. Uh, this one's not bad. I read this one too last time as well. If you read this again, please go right ahead. Uh, people's factors are nice, but control the edigios. The indigenous are, by definition, uh, already a collectivized system of agricultural management. And we're very pleased with that. But these edigidos work independently with goals that tend to differ from the goal of all Mexicans. We shall bring all edigidos of Mexico under our centralized control in order to coordinate their activities with the greater good of Mexico. Cristero War Factory Sabotage. The Cristeros have targeted a factory in Mexico, causing a great deal of damage and the loss of many lives. Federal authorities are working to stop it, and one of the local officers within the Mexican army has vowed to destroy the reaction to terrorists. They must be stopped. Cristero War Battle of uh, Tepetlan. Near the town of Tepletan, which had taken over by the Cristero Army, the Mexican Federal Army made an assault against the town, but it soon became apparent that it would be a bloody battle. Two choices exist for the Pablo Rodriguez, the officer in charge of the attack. He can retreat, which might allow him to kill the Cristero commander, or he can press on with the commander retreating instead of, in addition to the mounting costs. The town is captured, yeah. They have to do it. Uh, Battle of El Fresnel, the Mexican Army is facing the Cristero War, or Cristero Army near the town of Fresnel, where the Cristero Army is held up. Jesus Ferreira, the Mexican army commander in charge of the attack, believes that he can dislodge them. However, he also knows it be a bloody battle in the end, though. They won, or did we win? We won, of course. Why would he not choose for us to win? We must win. 
And this might keep going on and on and on and on and on. So we'll see about that. Like I said, I didn't want to do that stuff over there. Uh, military peacekeeping operations sound like fun. But we're at 57% stability, so... A great train fire of La Barca. As the Catholic terrorists continue their foolish crusade against the righteous attempts to suppress the church in its antiquated school, thought it seemed that their mask of being noble crusaders is finally slipping in the mind of the public. As due to the recent attacks on a passenger train which they allegedly believed it was carrying gold weapons and reinforcements for the front, their attack, led by the murderous and womanizing priest Jose Reyes Vega, was seemingly only going to be a hit and run by our own forces. Um... Uh, as our own forces responded to the attack, Vega's brother was killed, turning the alcoholic priest into a blind rage. In this rage, he ordered that them personally let the wooden passenger cars kill 51 civilians. Well, horrid tragedy, this is not the first time Vega had acted like this. It has been reported that he ordered the execution of prisoners of war via stabbing to preserve ammo, with their own leadership acting like the heartless criminals our government knows them to be. A campaign to get the public to see the same way we do is underway, as it has been since the start of their uprising. Should these terrorists carry on actions like this, we'll be able to drive the public support for them to zero, which, due to the nature of the atrocities, is already at an all-time low. A sinner among saints or a band of sinners. Battle of Mazzanillo. The Christian army is looking to take the city of Manzalio. Heliodoro, Charles Castro, the general in the region, has been focusing on holding the city. The Cristero army is large and looks like it could take the city, but there is a ship in the air that is attacking the Cristero army. The question is if they will focus on taking the city to destroy the ship. Liga de Esercito de Artistas Revolucionarios. To promote art through Mexico, the Liga de Esercitores et Artistas Revolucioneros, a uh, league of revolutionary writers and artists, or Lear, as it is often called, has been founded. Lear is dedicated to promoting art and literature throughout Mexico. Lear is dedicated not only to the ideals of Mexican revolution, but also cyclism, which is evident in the art it promotes and publishes. Moreover, it has connections to the Third International, believes in and supporting the Third International, art for the people. Yeah, I've got quite a few days for this stuff. Um, I do want to see these guys win. Missouri Democratic Organization, that sounds really cool. And it's very surprising to see something like that, too. So, I think that's kind of awesome. Um, someone says. For a comment, uh, I heard of the next Huawei 4 DLC. It'll allow mod developers to add their own achievements. So imagine how many achievements there'll be in Kaiser Redux. Probably way too many. Someone else says, "Viva Mexico, mis compas," which I don't know what that means, but sure. Ooh, and this is why we still have volunteers here too, so we can get a lot of army XP. Hopefully, uh, there we go too. Keep training. Train until you die, basically. We're still alright. Oh, we need more guns. How many guns we got? Ooh, Nicaragua's gone. Gone. Oh no. Oh, Central American Republic. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? Do this one first. Oh, Lord, you have a rebel. In a stunning move against Cristeros, our soldiers were able to capture one of the flag bearers of the terrorists. Oh boy, yay. A young man named Jose Luis Sanchez del Rio, a seminarian from the town of Sahuya, Michoacan. Rio is perhaps the best perfect example of what the cancer of superstition and religion can do to a person. Turning a once peaceful man to a bloodthirsty rebel, the man who held Sanchez del Rio believed that only by renouncing his faith in the hometown to boot would be the only way to pacify him. Jose Luis, uncle, a vocal supporter of the government and a community otherwise full to the brim with Catholic rebels, took it upon himself to get his nephew to renounce his faith. Soldier stationed in Sahua, Suayo, escorted Sanchez del Rio to a military outpost to begin his re-education. Our first attempt to re-educate him proved to be fruitless, but thus with the uncle's relented permission, our men tortured his assistant nephew in hopes of breaking him. After days of torture, he showed no signs of breaking, so at the last attempt, the sole of his feet were cut, and was forced to walk around town with soldiers escorting him to prevent any would-be heroes from trying to free him. At the end of his tortured walk, a dugout grave was prepared for him in the cemetery with his family there to witness his last chance to redeem himself. As his uncle painfully asked him to renounce his faith and thus save his life, the stubborn rebel only showed a viva Cristeo Rey in response. With his final offer refused, Jose was similarly executed and buried in the prepared grave. Rio shall serve as a fitting example to the rest of those terrorists. We need more guns. You know what, we'll do something crazy here. Thanks for the guns. Clashes throughout the country. Fighting has broken out throughout most of the country. Thankfully, the various cities are held on federal control. However, many smaller towns have fallen to the so-called Cristero Army. Conflict does not look like it's going to end anytime soon. Crap. Women's suffrage. Hmm. President Plutarco Callas proposed a law that would grant women the right to vote, a move that is allowed by the women's groups across Mexico. Of course, first law is passed in the Mexican Congress. Will it pass or will it fail? Well, if he wants it. Fails to pass? Uh, I'll pass it for now. Not bad. Keep building. Oh, hello. Western Command Center, huh? Victory for the federal government. A long last of terrorist armies been destroyed while there's still some skirmishes in the country, or has been last been restored to Mexico. President Plutar Callas is relieved that his enemies are finally destroyed. Yay! Viva Mexico! Ah, one and a half political power is going to take. Not enough, in my opinion, but whatever. Keep expanding yourselves. Do more, do better. So we'll do that one, we'll do this one, control this one, control the CROM. Yeah, that'd be good to do. 
The Confederación Regional Obrero Mexicanos has been for some time along an time out of Calles, which are awarded the loyalty by granting them the official state support in order to help them with their fight against the CGT, their main rival labor organization, says the CGT. Stood uh, with our enemies, we only stand again from this, the political chameleon of Mexico. Plutarco Calles, our beloved El Jefe Maximo, has long been described as a political chameleon of Mexico and for good reason. Bouncing sides and swapping allegiances more times than most can keep track of, Calles has made new allies and broken old packs in an endless cycle over the decades in order to seize power for himself. Throughout all of it, he's operated as a sort of shadowy puppet master, trying to pull the strings of the Mexican politics. <clears throat> in order to suit his own needs and going so far as to even organize the attempt on Zapata's life in order to secure power for himself. Uh, now standing as some new syncretic mixture of totalitarian socialism and reactionary, paternalistic autocracy, this chameleon has taken it on deep shade of red as he leads a Maximato into his own personal or perception of utopia, a utopia entailed under he El Jefe Maximo. As colorful as a chameleon, as deadly as a jaguar in Red Flood. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. And now, everyone, we're bringing the revolution to Central America. The monument of the revolution, though. Today, the monument of the revolution in Mexico City has finally been completed. Carlos Obrega Santacilla was the architect behind the monument. He, he built it out of the unfinished legislative building that Porfirio Diaz ordered to build. In addition to bringing a monument, or being a monument, dedicated the revolution from its struggles to its successes. It's also a mausoleum for some of the more famous revolutionaries. The monument was built on Plaza de la Republic, part of the Mexico City, and is already becoming one of the iconic sites of the city. Let's remember the revolution. Yay! More political power. Yay! We can't go this one yet. Darn it. Whatever. Um, what do we want here? I kind of want more attack. We are going superior firepower, so it's a lot of army XP game, but everything else is okay. More attack is not bad. Um, I would get that's very good guns and butters. I, it's probably one of the best ones in my opinion. But then again, I'm not an expert at this game. I'm just I'm pretty decent. Uh, Recon's not bad. Uh, exact same thing. Attack. Well. Victoriano Barcenas. Barcenas. Organization. Spike some daily armor XP. Yeah. Even though we're not winning everywhere, that's still okay. Goals to win as much as possibly can. I don't think these guys are going to be able to hold us really back. Oh, I we're still fighting Bear Cruz. It's fine. I kind of want these guys to win just to like, see what happens, but you know, you never know. We'll see. There you go. The just six one is nice. Um, we're doing okay there. Eh, it's a little ahead of time. But we do have five research slots, which is very ideal. Very, 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 very ideal. How much manpower do they have? Six to eight thousand. They don't have a lot. We don't have a lot either. We got plenty of guns though. Are they forcing defense? Yeah, they are, huh? Force Article 27? That's not bad, yeah. Um, Article 27 of the Mexican Constitution states that the property in the waters included within the national boards of property of the nation and its such nation has the right to impose dictates to the private owners in order to defend public interests. With this justification, we should finally nationalize oil fields in Mexico so that this vital black gold can be utilized to its full potential by the state and Calles. Yeah, because why not? So let's stop attacking here at the very least. In here. Some more planning done first and get really ready to go for this. Alright, so they just left the border open. Or their lines open, okay. Okay then. Cut off Guatemala from everyone else, that's fine with me. Here, help them out. Here, help them out. That's good for our makes me too. Nice. I'm not raiding them. But it will stretch out their line quite a bit. Exactly what we want. This Indian Revolution, that's nice. Give us more planning, get some more organization. Spread the CSA. More propaganda, let's do that one too. Alright. Can you go right here? Uh, you cannot actually. I know you're in a mountain. Get right here first. A beautiful Sunday morning in Mexico. On a fine Sunday morning, the sublime and scorching Mexican sun rose over the another fine new day under the regime of El Jefe Maximo. And again, this new dawn heralded a new step in Maximo's progression. As Calles marches the nation towards the ideal totalitarian state, all societies began to continue and change to his will. And as this new day dawned, El Jefe would continue to warp the nation to his ambition. Organizing yet another one of his occasional stability sweeps the night before as he finalizes less before going to bed, many in Mexico would again awaken to a change in Mexico on this new dawn. Their lives irrevocably changed forever without the ability to even publicly acknowledge it. Without any explicit connection to himself or his administration, hundreds of new enemies to the state and the Takayas were removed. All evidence of whatever had transpired cleaned away before the first morning cockerel made its call. 
As Collier slept away before rising with an early cup of coffee, as well was carried all across the state as gutters and alleyways, boondocks, dirt roads, and isolated farm fields all ran with the blood of his supposed enemies and rivals. Only for all traces to be wiped away soon after and before he could finally piece together what had been done. All across Mexico, hundreds of politicians, priests, generals, and public figures, and more would all be just to disappear. And as thousands have performed on dozens of mornings just like this, for this was a hidden and publicly unacknowledged new reality for Mexico. A new, more secure day dawns until each morning, under each morning, under Cayos. Yay, what's not to love? Let them spread out a little bit more. Let them attack us here, too. Um, it's going to be pretty bloody. Let them move around first. You go here to there, and you go right there. There we go. These guys are now cut off, which is super good. Super good. Not just good, but super good. Um, yeah, I get this, too. Attacking us, huh? Nice. As they ought to. Bohemian Revolution, that's just an unfair thing you should do. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, you guys are force it. Yeah, let everyone force it, screw it. And you guys are just going to hang out for now. Should be okay without using them, but we'll see. Three divisions, that's quite a bit. Hurry up and kill them there, take out the capital. That'd be great. Up out. For C-ROM. Uh, let's do this one too. Yeah, Guatemala should fall. This actually wouldn't be one of the first states to fall. Nice. Good. I'll destroy three more divisions there here too. Nice. First of many is going to fall. And. Oh, wow. They went to war with the coming friends too. Wow, okay. This going to be different. Did you just go to war with the Czechs, too? Or are they all in the same faction together? No? No, they're not. Okay, they just really want to die, I guess. Whatever. Not our problem, though. Get more cities. I want to build. I want Mexico to have a massive industry. It's taking forever to get over here. But these are mountains. Territory. Batavia's gone. Beautiful. We lost 12,000 versus 56,000. Not bad overall. Uh, so in oversight, eh, it's all right. Also we have infantry, infantry, era. workers, and militias. Keeping that'll be fine for now. I just need more guns. That's pretty much it. That's always it. Just need more guns. <sighs> Valkyrie heavy hull, heavy hull. About halfway done capitulating them. Get down here if you can. Casemate. Give that to you. That'd be good. Yeah. Pre dreadnoughts. Nah. Don't even bother. If you do this and circle them like that, that would be great, but. Might be a bit too late. Basic every batteries. Nice. That's good. Some more batteries if you possibly can. Batteries are always useful. You know, things need to charge. What's this cavalry division doing up here? Take all the coast. San Carlos. Mana Managuea. Um, nice. We we'll definitely need that one. Total state atheism. Yes, please. Go cavalry, go! And they're about to give up. Very good for army XP. Very, very good. Not too many losses, just enough. Of course, I'm not going to. Ooh, get car right away. I'm not going to deliver these guys. I like how big Mexico is right now. Ottomans, yes. Southern Odisia. Very nice. A lot of stability. A lot of war support. Liberate Central America. A puppet. Nah, military occupation is the way I like it. Direction Federal de Seguridad. This will be important because we're going to have these guys under us for a long time. Well, we now enjoy the newfound loyalty for new armed forces. We need to create something to keep the civilian population and the military in check as well. Just in case they change their minds and decide to overthrow us in the end. We shall create a paramilitary force, the Direction Federal de Seguridad, which will be under the direct command of our president. This paramilitary shall only answer to Kaya, serving as his personal bodyguard, death squads, and secret service. Under their watch. Even our army shall be kept in check because Kaya has built in New Mexico. On top of a foundation of fear, strength, and intimidation. 
a personality cult of El Jefe Maximo. Ooh, more political power. Well, that's not bad, too. Ooh, we get more stability, too, which would be very nice as well. Look at that. I like this language. That's really cool. Our country has had a progress delay due to the traditionalist and reactionary culture of its people. Now that we've succeeded in transforming Mexico into a more modern and collectivist society, we should now focus on shaping the culture of our future generations so that these reactionary thoughts don't disrupt future progress. A new Mexican identity and culture shall be born, one free of the taint of Catholicism, conservatism, liberalism, reactionary nationalism, and other deluded false ideas that supports and uplifts the ideas held dearly to El Jefe Maximo and the Maximato, the personality cult of El Jefe Maximo. Plutarco Cayas, or El Jefe Maximo, as he likes to be called, has managed to consolidate his position in the position of his PNR, rising to become the undisputed leader of Mexico. And his role, for, his role in reforming Mexico to be a new totalist paradise cannot be debated either, for never has Mexico been united so safe, united safe and prosperous under such a capable strongman, which rewards wisdom and commitment to the greater Mexican goodwill by instating a massive propaganda campaign to uphold his image. Cayas' face shall become the face of Mexico itself, as our people in the state uplift El Jefe Maximo as a demigod of the revolutionary he truly is. I don't remember this last time, but... La Reconquista de la Sesión Mexicana. With the young key embroiled in a devastating civil conflict, perhaps the time has come to avenge the loss of the old northern territories that we suffered during the Mexican-American War and the chaos that surrounded it. We'll believe the federales dry and smash aside their bickering radicals in order to secure the lands we lost almost a century ago. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, the Mexican session, and the Texas Revolution shall all be avenged. The apparent success of total atheism as the state. Uh, uh, progresses towards a policy of complete secularism and total anti-theism. Plutarco Callas has gone through great lengths to fully remove the parasite of faith from Mexico. Though not an easy task due to the nation's long Catholic and folk religion history, we've made great strides in this goal. Houses of worship all across Mexico burn or line a pile of black and sinners while others have been coveted or converted for different uses by the party. The Catholic Church has largely been purged or sent into exile, and most lay people have had the common sense to drop their loose affiliation with any new religion rather than facing the consequences, but... Some still cling to these lies of the past. In private homes, abandoned buildings, and isolated farms, small pockets of pre private religious practice still exist. If small groups are alone, literature is still left unburned as a guide. Though we will not waste any more supplies and resources, or, or reputation for that matter, barring into every residence in Mexico searching for theists, we shall still eradicate these vermin if, when, and if, whenever they're found. When that what happens in their own home, stays there unless they get caught. We're reclaiming our lost territories. As in 1948, as a result of our defeat in the Mexican American War, we were forced to see nearly half the territory of the United States as per the provisions of Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, in an event known as the Mexican Session. The version of this treaty has been a dream for the Mexican people since then, but now there may be finally a chance of undoing this grave humiliation against our nation. Now, the U.S. embroiled in a civil war of their own making, its titans back is turned, and now it could be our chance to regain our lost lands and restore Mexican control north of the Rio Grande from California all the way to Teos. The Americans can only see land they still control over, so we must move quickly. An absolute world, huh? It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Cross the Rio Grande. I successfully performed our first crossing to Yankee territory, the first time to undo the time to undo the Texas Revolution and the American integration of Texas is finally at hand. This next phase of the Reconquista now in motion, we shall cross the Rio Grande and march into El Paso and beyond, crushing any resistance in their wake as they move. We move to reclaim our rightful clay. I love how we just call it clay. Oh, whatever. Cross the Rio Grande. Look, man, we just want what we, what we could deserve, man. Canada? Sure, for now. Alright, and. Oh, that'd be pretty good to get, actually. What the Hiriko Collegio Militar? I think I read this last time, too. So you're gonna do this again, please go ahead. There you go. They're probably gonna say no. And we're gonna step right in, because even though we're actually over here too. Right? Would you all like to get over here? Probably not, in all honesty. No, go this way. There you go. They deny our territory demands. Unsurprisingly, the United Union State has denied our demands for the return of Teos, laughing in the face of our claim. This left us with two simple options. Either pack it up and give up our missions for Teos now, or get smart over the Rio Grande and take a rifle clay by force, which it would be. Or it is. Well, we're probably going to suck here quite a bit. We only have two, 22 divisions, and they've got a, quite a few. Um, but, you know, we'll move in and as fast and as far as we possibly can go. Yeah, it looks like the divisions aren't super great either, and it would let us go to probably war economy as well. So, we will need to mobilize a little bit more, but whatever. Yeah, they got a lot of manpower. Just like us. Got a crap ton of divisions. Probably no guns. We go immediately in. Go straight for a war economy. And logistics. We could. Air XP won't really matter too much in the future, anyways. Anything else around here? Super events? No. Foreign policy. Create on faction. War propaganda. You know what? Let's go with military stuff. Also, I do want to get some cast, so that long would be nice. Um, that's fine. Uh, sure. Sure. Look at that. Nice. 
Ah, we probably want to stop trading either. Maybe, well, probably still not super tiny. Still probably blows a bit, so. Sure, no. I would like El Paso, please. Ah. At the very least, the goal is to get New Mexico and uh, Texas. That's at the very least what we want out of this war. Definitely gonna lose here with us fighting in the CSA doing their stuff too. Good, good, good. Let's be on us fighting over a river, but whatever. What else do we have around here? Engineering schools, bolt attack, meticulous preparation. Smoking fire, more breakthrough would be nice. It really would be nice to get that. Or just keep going this way, shock and all. More soft attack. I love it soft. The march against up to Alto, California. With the first foray across the border into American land being successful and with a part of the North secured, it's time for the second stage of the Reconquista to begin. We now march west and north to take the true crown of the uh, jewel of the West Coast, Alta California. We'll not be stopped from reclaiming our destiny, Viva Mexico. Yeah, let's go on first. So far, not bad. And Houston's the capital, which is not bad either. Building a lot of roads. We have to build radar here. Using the water though too. I like radar quite a bit. War propaganda? Sure, why not? What have I told you? It's about the attack against Houston. Western Command Center might be next. We'll see. Coming in for tree later, we do have a cup of coffee to keep the nest warm as well. Two? Huh. Like that, eh? Alright, so resistance is still going up down there, which sucks. Uh, probably won't start putting stuff down. Servi Servicio de Inteligencia Nacional de Pueblo? Put up something? Put up something? Alright, so you guys are going to stop attacking now. We took Houston, so that's good. Um, at the very least, we have. This is nice. More recon. We need to get recon. We've got better reinforcement, which is nice. Just hold the land as much as you can right now. We have actually quite a few guns. Look at that. That's pretty impressive, actually. I like that a lot. Wait, what? Bruh. What the heck? Excuse me. But what the heck? You bunch of butter suckers. And we have to guard the land, because if we don't, then they get all taken away. Dumb. Whatever. And they attack us for this. We get some more army XP, I guess. Uh, I guess, you know, try to look on the bright side of things sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. There you go in here. They're only militia, and they're not that strong. Alright, what's next? Clovis, never been there. Been in New Mexico though. New Mexico is a beautiful state, absolutely amazing state. Going anyways. Dallas is ours. Beautiful. Yeah, we have too many reactionaries here. Put down some partisans. That'd be good. Right. Ooh, this one's gonna be a tough battle. Definitely toughy. There you go. Cap New Orleans. Um. Wow, these guys are really pushing up that way. Uh, we're doing alright. Could use more divisions, but 
We'll get some, four more outs very soon, too. And all it does is make us stronger. The more territory we make and take, the better. It is sitting out of our line a little bit, but whatever. Over here. Nice. I'm going. I'm going with them. What do we even have on our these guys? Ooh, that's actually probably better to do. We might use tanks eventually, but we'll see. Not sure yet. Maybe by end game. These guys are definitely dying. I really want to see these guys win because I've literally never seen this faction before, but you know. Whatever. Nice. 39, construction good. Grab some coordination. Grab some of that. Nice. Push them further and further in. Grab some of that. Uh, infantry and stuff seems okay. Panama, Colombia. We can have that too. Infantry specialist? Don't we already have an infantry specialist? No? Here, be the infantry specialist then. I don't care. Mexican Cup of 1939. The Mexican Cup, the premier national football cup in Mexico. It's finally at its championship game between Austerias and Nex Necaxa. The question is who should take the home of glory and become the champions next year? And the winner is somebody. Some dude. Better keep that resistance low, man. Not like this territory is worth that much, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Asturias wins the cup. With a victory 1 0, Asturias has won the Mexico Cup this year. Mexico City was filled with excitement as the glory of the cup went home to one of their teams. Asturias retakes the title. Nice. Still plenty of guns. Needs more motorized, though. Let's see if I don't need this here. Short it by two. Nice. Ooh, I had a tendency. Yeah, it's gonna get that one too. That'll be very, very good. Going in with him. It's fine. Oh man, the CSA is doing quite well now. La Dictoria Perfecta. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, we got him. Well, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, special command zone, you can have a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, no, I'm taking El Paso. I'm definitely taking that myself. Climb a pan handle, we'll take all this stuff too. Um, we'll take this, maybe. Let's see. CSA. Park doesn't deserve pretty much anything. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Kaios has achieved what once seemed impossible. A dictatorship that is not only tolerated by the people, but even beloved by the common man. El Jefe Maximo. It is slowly but surely turning into a national figure that will be inevitably written down in history books as a revolutionary reformist and a true hero to Mexico. As a national father of the rebirth nation, Putero Kaios has created the perfect dictatorship and shall now guide the stable ship into the unknown but bountiful waters of a new destiny. Resistance must be nice. Yeah, no, I'm taking this right now. We earn this. Oh, I can't take it right now. God dang it. Are you freaking kidding me? Bruh. Bruh. Well, anti air's not bad, too, to have. Need more fighters. Artillery, definitely. Guns. We'll definitely get all that stuff. Uh, 1939. Recon. Yeah. How much support equipment do we have? Not enough. That's the correct answer for everything, pretty much. For now, too. Engineers, you need that as well. Demobilize, you are crazy if you think we're gonna demobilize. Nice. Keep building everything. Nice. Better anti parts and stuff, nice. Rise of the Maximato. And then we'll do uh, take back to Mexico. We have command center lies to the north. <clears throat> Lowering over a rival clad that is Santa Fe de Nuevo Mexico. They sit exposed with their southern ability directly pointed at our armed forces. We shall march in this beautiful air lands in Nuevo Mexico and take back the American Southwest for our own people, finally undoing the vile session of 1848. How dare they? 
No, I don't mind maybe upgrading this ship. It should be relatively okay. No super heavy batteries for now. We don't want to be extremely slow. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Level 2 is fine, too. 2 is fine, too. 1. Uh, it's not slow to sell it down any too much more. 51 is quite expensive, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I need some better light cruisers and whatnot, too. Yeah. We're on train as well. We definitely don't need that. Training is always good to do. Always good to train. Durango. Because we'll build it itself up all the time here anyway, so that's fine with us. Uh, you're a puppet of... Yeah, these guys. Hmm. They have a lot of entrenchment, a lot of defense. They don't have a lot of divisions, also. Foundation of the Museo Regional de Archaeologia in Copan. There's the Museo Regional de Archaeologia was finally found in the town of Copan. Co Copan. Archaeological site houses one of the biggest surviving architectural complexes from the early pre-classic era. It was one of the biggest cities in the old Mayan civilization. The site was closed to public in 1935 and has undertaken extensive restoration work. With Acropolis, the main square, the staircase of hieroglyphics, temples 11 and 22, as well as 38 estalas, and all of the altars being the main focus of the restoration efforts. With the inauguration of the museum, the archaeological site is opened once more to the public to explore the past of pre-Columbian Central America, and other sectors preserving history. Nice. Um, let's go and raise the description level. We'll need that eventually anyway, so we might as well do that now. Give me your lips. Oh, God, I love lips. Anyways. Um, there. There we go. Fifty percent less agency upgrade time. You might as well take it and use it while you got it. Rising the maximum. Under la dictatura perfection or perfecta, el jefe maximo has blazed a new path. <clears throat> Uh, pathway forward for beloved Mexico, accelerating the ideas of the revolution to the natural climax in order to create a perfect total utopia under their beloved Putaro Calles. With the opiate of religion eradicated, the economy and oppressive state entirely under the control of the party, the populace bent around genius will. And all of Mexico brought into law and order at the gunpoint. Our beautiful and proud nation can finally evolve into something greater. A new form of state shall rise, one entirely separated from the failures of both Mexico's and wider. Humanity's past and one wholly devoted to the will and ambition of Helafe. This Maximato will rise to be the greatest state on the planet, all under the wise and godlike power of the Plutarco Calles. Under a perfect dictator, our perfect state now shall rise anew. Estado Maximo de Mexico. Nice. Uh, nice. Some more chaos, yeah. Actually, I should have chosen some one of these guys, but whatever. Um, yeah, front forms. Officer's Ultimatum. I like this. More population would be nice, but whatever. Organization is very good, too. Second so Valkyrie, nice. But, uh, a little fire support is probably the way we want to go. Take back Mexico. Reorganize the north. England Rebellion has begun. Oh boy. Um, Division del Norte. Probably honestly, this one would be better. One of the largest rivals on the American continent is the United States of America, which tries to undermine Mexico's freedom. The Mexican American border is mostly made of deserts and air mountains, so it should train her soldiers to stop the U.S. forces in this hostile environment. And luckily, the Division del Norte is expert at fighting these conditions, so we shall expand these desert riders and have them reach teach the rest of the army. Bruh. What are you doing? This is our territory that we need to get back. Demobilize, come on, let's go to war. Or just give us everything, you know. Oh, they accept our demands. Surprisingly, it seems that the Americans were willing to hand over all the land they seized in the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo and their decision, but the Mexican secession has finally been undone. Their internal problems must be brutal indeed for them to accept such a deal, but it matters not for us, for we, Mexico, have been made whole once more. Our right, for northern lands were restored. Whoa! This is really weird. This is look very weird. I don't like. I don't like how weird this looks. Okay then. That's very odd. Well, I'm not gonna do mobiles. I'd rather take the stability head. We have maxed it out anyways. Um, we need more rubber. Okay. Very nice. Radar. Only 1939. We could use more fuel. We will need more fuel eventually. The amount we have right now is not enough. It really is just not enough. 
some cast ahead of time too. So one melee and one Sibia at least at all times from here on out. Hmm. So we'll do that one, but then the march to Alta California. And the Autons go to war as well now too. Nice. As they probably should. Beautiful. How many divisions do these guys have? Um, a lot of manpower. Up to seven divisions, which is quite a bit. Quite a few. Uh, we need to do this. We're processing. Chihuahua. Uh, plenty of that. Plenty of artillery, too. That's actually really nice. Holy crap. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, get better, Cass. Mm -hmm. No other changes yet. War economy is beautiful. And after that one, then what? Reorganize the North. Much has changed the old North since we left in 1848. People, cities, infrastructure, everything is nearly unrecognizable. However, reintegrating the North will surely be no, no challenge for our strong United Mexico, for we've already gone through the rigors of multiculturalism and thus have experienced how to best sound of the Yaqui and the, all the children they will bring. We, should, we shall tame this Northern expanse just as we tame the wilds of Mexico and the gringos should be brought to heel. Reapers of the border makes more sense than trundles of the Sonora. You know, that break is really nice, too. Mm. Ooh. Create the Escalade Superior de Guerra. One of the major aspects of what makes a professional army is to train in a larger officer corps. Our army sure on experienced officers all the levels of command structure, so we'll need to expand our military colleges to train more officers. We'll should begin this initiative by creating the Escalade Superior de Guerra in the capital. Uh -oh. Serving as the centerpiece of a new officer training program. War against specific states? Another rebel faction of the American Civil War, the Pacific States of America, can only control the Western Seaboard, a vast region that includes our rebel territories in Alta California. Though I say they have a strong march or strong military noble spirit in our easily defensible swath territory. Should we march into our claimed lands here and take what's rightfully ours, or shall we just ignore this Western Bastion, brushing it off as too much trouble to deal with? We have grown tired of this endless conflict, ignore these lands? I'll screw that. They're gonna navel invade us and be a bunch of jerks to us, but whatever. Um so let's save again. Just because we can. Just because we probably should. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we'll do this. We'll do this one too. Mexico must be safe from all sides. Pacific, Caribbean, North, and South. Every inch of Mexican heartland will be paid for by the enemy and gallons and gallons of spilt blood. Uh, blood spilt by the great patriotic men. People's factories. We've had a mixed economic country since the revolution, allowing private ownership of factories but enforcing several regulations and workers' rights on the industrialists. However, Kaya sees this as a corruption of revolution and is ordered to begin a collectivization of the process of the industry. Save for the most vital industries, which would be nationalized. Uh, <coughs> In order for us to truly allow the people to own the fruits of the labor and for peak efficiency and fairness to reign in an economy. Can we just march in for now? We might be able to just a little bit. San Diego. Go, 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 before they do too much. No, 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 you go here. Go here. Trouble in paradise. The socialite class and gossiping masses of Mexico have been abuzz today over the news that Mexico's two biggest, most beloved artists, Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, have devoured for divorce. After being together for over a decade, the pair of creative geniuses they has called it quits, ending both a romantic and artistic partnership. The nation is torn as to see who will support in this mess, as well as on the opinion as to whether or not that art shall improve with the strategy. Whatever happens, let's hope that the Mexican muralist movement and the greater cultural golden age does not suffer due to some trouble, trouble in paradise for too nearly lovebird. It is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Well, okay then. Fall of Dublin, huh? Quite a few divisions here. Archaeological expedition to the San Andreas site. The American archaeologist John Dimmick has arrived today in our country and has made a very particular re request. On the San Andreas homestead, there have been reports by visitors of the Denyas family of ancient structures which are partially buried and could shed light on the history of pre Columbian Mesoamerican civilizations. He claims he will finance the expedition with his personal wealth all his own, they just need to give it the green light. Butarco Caius has already announced his support for the project, has contacted the Denyas family personally to ask for their lands to be visited by the expedition. After a meeting with both the representative of the Denyas family, Dimmick and Plutarco Cayas, they have agreed to give a carte blanche to the expedition of the Dixon until the end of the May, with the coming of the rain season. Hopefully their discoveries will keep archaeologists interested in our country for years to come. They are welcome to explore our past. We're going to move in so far as we possibly can before we run into some extreme resistance. Alright, let's find that too. Fine, whatever. 
I go to total mobilization if we have to, but you know, whatever. Putting more resistance down if you can, that'd be nice. Nice. Um, So at this point, we'd probably stop attacking overall, except right there. Um, you're doing okay -ish, here ish. You guys stop here. 66, 65. It's dropping just a little bit, and it's not in a good way. There, the Halifax Conference. Advanced fire bases, that's good. I'm just gonna stop doing that too. Hold for now, too. Let's see if they actually leave. So they don't, that's fine too. Alright, so we've lost 23,000 versus 46, which is not bad. There's two divisions left here. You should be able to take these guys out. If it's only two, that's still fine. Sold for now. Don't worry about it. Let them attack us if they want, I don't care. Nice. San Diego's ours too. War measures, huh? Alright, so I have two divisions here, one in the mountains. Uh, should be okay there. Uh, let's do this one. Come on, stop. Anti-tank, anti-air fighters, and CAS. Alright, so they're attacking us. Hardness, infantry equipment cost, not so concerned about that. Um, fighter stuff, we could probably use that immediately. Anything over here really care about? No. Uh, get that one, whatever. Harlan is gone. I'm thinking here and here, maybe. Get those four in there, get those two in here. Get that one in there as well. Help support the attack. Get three, go one right there. Go right there, too. And just hold. You might be able to do well here if we win here. It'd be great. There's still only one division in circle, that's still fine as well. Move back. No plans to reorganize the railway system. Just hold for now. Let that militia mission, uh, division move out. Three, two. Oh, come on. Roll this ball. Go in then. If you want to move, you can, but it won't be very good for you. Three divisions, huh? The division is quite weak. Or it looks like it's quite weak. Maybe not. Um, here. Nice. Uh, Carson City is nice to have as well. Good. Still green for now. We'll see. I'm out. Even more soft attack, yes, please. All right, so they just love stacking bodies there. I want to do a general attack, but I knew it would be very good to do it. There's so many hills and mountains here. Our tree or revolts, eh? Oh, they're attacking us though, which is also very good too. Here, you guys hold. Do not move there. Let them attack us to a degree, because that'll help ruin their uh, strength too. So, yeah. I'll just push them in here too. Might as well at this point. I just wanted to encircle them, but I guess not. These tanks should be easily be able to get crushed. Yep, they don't really like tanks. In 1940, happy 1940, everybody. Um, Civvy, keep building. 
More millies. Fresno. Hmm. Reno, huh? That'd be quite nice to get right now. Still attacking us, huh? Nice. Oh, LA would be great to get there. Very, 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 very weak here. Better chance of taking LA that way. We take that. Not bad. Overall. Oh. Okay then. Very good right there. Mm, I'd love to take out Fresno, but whatever. Go in, go in. Good. Good. Even gooder. Let him come in. And start attacking there. The fighters already. Come on. Mm, we got Reno. Either one of these two. Either one. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, Cass, how far are we? I mean, Cass will be full players ish. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I want LA though. Well, if they want to do that, then they're going to be very weak everywhere else. So we'll do this. Let's get through the Antonio. Good for them. You guys will die. We'll, they'll kill them off here. You guys will attack here. You guys will support the attack south of Fresno. Good. Keep building some cities up too. Reapers of the border. And. Conquest of the Impassable. Sure. Due to difficult and harsh terrain and underdeveloped infrastructure, it will be difficult to properly supply large armies such heavy equipment. We need special units which overseas and organize supply lines to keep our army always fully equipped. There, and you guys should be like, don't move. And you guys should be like, hey, we'll help you out. And we'll be like, hey, go in. And we'll be like, die. Or just kill yourself, or something like that, you know. Blitz, time to withdraw, suppression, last defense breakthrough. Oh, you can have breakthrough, why not? Goodbye. Oh. Are we taking too much land? There you go. Beautiful. A clash of green and red. Allying with other extremist paramilitaries in order to ensure Catholicism and Western theism are entirely eradicated from Mexico. Cause allowed Carrasco and Canabal to run their militias and as arms of the state, with Carrasco rebranding this failed gold shirts as the new green shirts, the former chief of general of the ARM now raided Mexico's northern waste for hidden houses of worship. Meanwhile, across the nation to the south, Canabal, long a political ally of Callas, who served under him during the revolution, has led his red shirts on raid after raid against local Catholic cells. But as a schemer, Callas has also moved to not only allow these two radically opposing paramilitaries to keep the old rivalry, but has even mo moved to fan the flames of conflict between them. A half figures that if these extremists are too busy killing Catholics in each other, and they'll also be too busy to ever pose a threat to the real threat to Max Mato and Jefe's regime itself. All according to plan. Now go in. And party it up. Yeah, I'll call it partying it up, yeah. Get rid of these crap fighters. I just can't wait until we get rid of this stuff. Like, we'll just convert it to something else. Even though we get that later on. I don't want to see this stuff. It's annoying to see all this stuff. Now 
Mexican nuclear bombs? Yes, please. Nice. San Fran? No, these guys are about to... Not die quite yet, because there's still quite a bit of land we have to take, but still. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt to take out. I might go to war with them next, so that these guys are still alive, but we'll see. We will see. Nice. Victory over the Pacific States. The Mexican army <clears throat> has overcome the armies of the Pacific States of America now in position to demand their terms. Some of the government want the whole of California to be returned to Mexico, but others feel that aggressive demands such as this will lead to another possible war in the future or even more likely cause damage to fall or the deal to fall through indeed. Or instead, we can demand only the southern portion of Alta California, though that would just leave much of our claimed territory in the enemy hands. Finally, we could just always press forward with the war effort and throw a diplomacy to the way side, but it's not likely these yuckies will agree anyways. Pacific Coast shall be ours, yeah. Now we're going to go all the way through. Ooh, look at this. Semper Elias. The Mexican military will always be loyally serving Mexico, no matter the cost. It will always protect our beautiful nation in war or peace from any threat, foreign or not, internal. Semper Elias, always loyal. Yeah, why not? Nice, nah, good. We've got that one done. Maybe yeah, Walmart's too. Ah, so close. Dang it. It's Mark 1's. It's fine for now. Why would you only stop halfway through? That makes no sense. No pee, pee but whatever. Members of the Great Cadillos? The goal of our major military reforms is to create a professional modern army that, like organized by the great independent heroes, sent to honor of Vincent Guerrero. Oh, we'll aspire to create such a modern army by imposing our equipment, improving equipment, and our tactics. A professional army can only be achieved if every soldier knows his duty and is willing to fulfill them under any conditions. Death of El Jefe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Heroes factories, of course. Um, people's minds. Like it happened in their industry, our minds were also mostly in the hands of private investors. This foreign capital shall profit from the exploitation of workers no further, as we shall collectivize the mining operations across Mexico. But proletariat of the Maximato shall own the means of production and the treasures of the earth beneath them. Absolutely. Oh, we're done with the land auction too, huh? I want to do breakthrough. Let's get more bold attack. Nice. We've actually lost a lot. 150,000? But we got them all dead, so... I'm not going to give them anything. They get nothing from us. Absolutely nothing. The American Tijuana. With Mexico and America once sharing such a close relationship, it was common for folks that lived near the border to hope to see or hop to the other side to see how the other half lives. This practice was perhaps most common in Southern California and Bob, where the westernmost city of all in Latin America, the Mexican border city of uh, Tijuana, became a den of vice and sin for vacationing Americans. However, with the borders now drastically shifted, these practices have continued, but in far different locales than in the deserts of northern Mexico. Emulating in the past, it seemed that only a new Taiwan has been born in the American border town of Klamath Falls, Oregon. The once quiet and quaint towns began to rapidly expand, becoming a new urban center of sex, drugs, partying, gambling, vice, sin, and all more for the hedonistic Americans and Mexicans living near the border, seeking to escape the boring monotony of their daily lives. Even if only just passed for one blackout evening. Payback for decades of gringo parties. So how do we core all this stuff? Because this is a crap ton of territory we've got to deal with now. At least make them 18 combat width. Very least. Um. Need more political power? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I don't want to make sure these guys are not too strong. That's not very good for us. If and they're too now strong, we're going to probably go with invest in Productos Mendoza. While the strength of our Mexican soldiers is high, the strength of our Mexican artillery pieces is even higher. We need to equip our army with the heavy infantry support weapons to improve the fighting capabilities against a regular enemy force. Um, then we'll do Fun de Fuerza Ezera Mexicania. I think I read this one, but formed originally as the Arma de Aviación Militaire in 1950, the Mexican Air Force has been instrumental in suppressing rebellion, however, in the dawn of a new era. One where Mexico shall triumph, its Air Force must reflect the upcoming Golden Age. Expand the Armada de Mexico, which I think I read this one too. Our naval force will not be able to challenge the navies of the Antan in the U.S., but its fighting power is not to be underestimated. Our nation is a large coast, and already is needed to defend it. The Gulf of, for Mexico. So we've gone with fleet and being. 
over all. Fleet and Bing. Fleet and Bing. Gold purchase would be nice, but there are no jungles or mounts too high for the, for the navy. While fighting with small concealed units is a viable tactic for the ground forces. Our right, naval forces shall need or will need to win naval engagements with large ships and even larger firepower. Um, and, uh, support the heroic god Asculia Naval Militar. We should take pride in a naval force which bravely defend the shores of Mexico and move to support our grand navy. A new naval military academy shall rise in order to train the next generation of midshipmen and admirals so that we're ever ready at the helmet on the waves. Point to El Coligio de Air. Our airport is still quite small, so we lack trained pilots, and aircraft is useless if the pilot doesn't even know how to fly. We'll need to expand our aviation training courses. Construct the Aeropuerto Central. Boat on the side of the Llanos de Balbuena, which has been used for aeronautical experiments for the decades, the New Mexico City Central Airport shall rise to be the crowning jewel of our nation's aeronautical infrastructure. With its masses of airfield and others like it rising all across Mexico, along with many more sm smaller airstrips and runways, we shall come to blanket the skies with the aircraft. And from the Brigada de uh, Fuserio Paracaidistas. The Battle of Gallipoli shown that seaborne invasions are quite difficult to perform, but airborne invasions haven't been tried yet. We should blow up an airborne unit that can jump behind enemy lines, cut spy lines, ambush retreating forces. But I'm going to end it there as we continue to, to try to expand our industry, our supports, and basically everything else like that. So uh, we might start off the next episode being at war with the CSA and doing a kind of time lapse, but you know we'll see when we get there. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we when we make more artillery and support equipment. Thanks for watching. Have a great Maximo rest of your day.